All right, now I'm going to walk you guys through how to create a new session in Pro Tools. I'm going to assume uh, that you've purchased an interface, that you've installed Pro Tools on your computer, um, and, uh, and that uh, everything's groovy there. So the first thing you do is you just go, if you're using a Mac, which I am, uh, down to your dock. This is the little Pro Tools icon here, and you just click it to launch Pro Tools. I'm running Pro Tools 7.3. It's the uh, latest version of Pro Tools, and uh, just wait for it to load up. It's loading all my plugins and effects and things right now. And uh, once it's loaded up in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, uh, you will see that it says Pro Tools, LE, up there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up there to File and new session. As you can see, the hotkey for this is Apple N. I would advise, too, learning the hotkeys because they're, uh, they can make your life a lot easier and quicker inside of Pro Tools. Um, I am going to, it's, it's now, this is the new session dialog box here. I'm going to go ahead and save it on my external drive here. This is uh, on the left hand side is where you can select where you save it on my internal drive, my other internal Raptor drive or my external drive here, my LACI drive. Uh, I'm going to save it on this external drive, and then it, it asks you what you want to name it. I'm going to name it Test Session 1. You can name it whatever, name it, you know, the name of the song, whatever. And uh, down at the bottom here, there's a few session parameters uh, that are really important, and you should uh, pay, atten pay attention to these. First of all, audio file type. If I click on that, there's three options there. Uh, WAV files, AIFF, or SD2. I would advise just keep that on WAV. Um, there's not a sound quality difference, but WAV files are uh, the most universally recognized across all formats. So stick with WAV files. For sample rate, you got a couple options here. Now, if you have a uh, if you have an MBox One, um, you you probably don't have these two options: 88, 2, or 96K. Um, you, you may just have 48 and 44 one. We're going to stick with just 48. And for our bit depth, uh, bit depth we're going to uh, keep it on 24. Uh, you can choose between 24 or 16. We're going to keep it on 24. And then this is important here, uh, I.O. settings. Put it on stereo mix. This is just going to make your life easier. If you put it on last used and you're opening somebody else's session, your, um, the I.O. stands for in and out, obviously. And uh, that it, it, it'll uh, cause you headaches. Uh, so just um, just put that on stereo mix. So we have everything ready here. And once you do that, you just click down here in the lower right, click save, and wait for it to load up. And here we are inside of Pro Tools, our first Pro Tools session. And um, there's no tracks or anything. We haven't created anything yet. Uh, but uh, this main window that comes up when you open up Pro Tools is called the edit window. And this is really the main window that a lot of stuff uh, happens from. You can do a lot of things uh, f from this window. Now, um, the first thing we're going to do is create a click track. Um, so the way you do that is you go up to the top here to the track menu and hit new. That'll bring up this little new tracks dialog box. There's a few different options here. You can create, you know, several or just one. We're just going to create one. Uh, we're going to create a mono. We don't need a stereo click, and uh, we're going to keep it as an audio track. Of course, if I click on this mono here, you can do mono or stereo. If I click on this audio track, you can do audio track, aux input, master fader, MIDI track, or instrument track which are all really exciting things we're not going to get into right now. And then uh, this last uh, dialog box says, in samples or ticks. Now, uh, that basically means, uh, is, the, is the audio file going to follow the main time scale, absolute time, or is it going to follow the, uh, um, the beats of your session, like the, um, the BPM? So if, you're, if you have a, uh, let's say if you're creating a, a drum track, you'd probably want to do it in ticks, but we're, 
uh, that is a, a loop track, a, a, a drum track just from, from samples and things. But we're just going to keep it in samples, one mono audio track in samples, and hit create. And there it is. Uh, by default, it just calls it audio one. Um, and you should get into the habit of always naming your tracks before you do anything else with them. Always name your track. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to double click right here on the, on the track name. Click, click. And that brings up this little box, which just asks me to name the track. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to name it click. Hit OK, or just hit Enter. And there it is. You got it. Now, a couple more things before we move on. I want to make sure that you're viewing your inserts right here next to the track name. I, I have them viewed right now, but you may have opened your session and you don't see these inserts right here. If you go up to the upper left here of the screen, there's this little edit window view selector thing. If you click on that, that tells you, that gives you a bunch of options of what you're viewing in your edit window. We're viewing our IOs, we're viewing our track color, and our inserts. Just make sure that little inserts thing is checked. If it's not checked, uh, that'll go away, and we need that there to uh, load up our click plugin. So just make sure that's checked. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, up here at the top under options, make sure at the very bottom of this menu here, make sure low latency monitoring is on. Now, this is only going to be an option if you have a Digi002 or Digi003. Um, if, or actually an MBOX2 Pro, because it has FireWire. The, uh, the regular MBOX and the MBOX2 don't have that option because they're USB and they can't process the audio fast enough to do it in lo low latency monitoring mode. Now, what that means is um, uh, they have, they have a, a special control that you can mix between what you're, what you're hearing in your headphones when you're recording and your playback. That's a, that's a separate thing, um, especially for the MBOX. But since I'm demonstrating with the Digi002, just make sure that low latency uh, monitoring is on and, um, and, and also the, the inserts are enabled.